today is our time to have a, or a professional highlight, right? So a business highlight from uh, one of our members, but um, we, the person who wanted to do it, uh, asked to postpone it for a little while. And so this gives us an opportunity to just connect over our, your, whoever's here, our business, what it is you do, how we can support you in, um, you know, in, in, in growth in what it is that you need. So I wanted to chat with you guys about how do you, what are you planning to do over the next three months? We are at the beginning of Q4. Uh, how, do you, how do you want to finish this year? And are you starting to think about 2022, which is totally fine to say out loud, um, that year makes, I mean, I just like, what in the world? How are you planning? What are you thinking about doing for your business and then how can we support you? And when I say we, I mean everyone in the network, but I also very specifically want to say um, the, the resources that we have between the facilitators, right? Samantha, Heather, and myself, we're resource to support, and that's what we do, support businesses um, to, to grow. So I wanna have that conversation and, um, to, to lead into the conversation, I actually wanted to share something with you that I had prepared for Women in Conversation a couple of weeks ago. And I didn't really get to share this with them um, because there wasn't really a PowerPoint kind of setup. Um, but I wanna share it with you. Um, you've seen me talk about the what and the how and the why before, right? We've, we've talked about that. And we've talked about ultimately a brand and your business is all about what people say about you, right? So um, I was recently working with, uh, with somebody and I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm terrible at, at closing the loop when it comes to my loops. I don't know if anyone can relate, right? So I, I have to, I go to the doctor and I get the prescription. I forget to pick it up. <laughs> like I'm, I'm just, I'm just almost a hundred percent there. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's that kind of like closing the loop for yourself, but really um, the person that I was working with was, was facilitating that reminder for me. And now what I say about them is that they are thoughtful, that they have my back, that they are diligent, right? So it's, it's why you do what you do, how you do it, what you do, but then it's the outer rim is what people say about you. And this is a reactive brand, dynamic brand. It was about branding, but really you could put business in there. A reactive person, a dynamic person. A reactive uh, business, a dynamic business. A reactive business, it just, it, it's, um, it, it, the, the circumstances, things happen on the outside that then impact your power, your purpose, and your perseverance, your, your why. A dynamic brand, conversely, or business looks at why am I in business? Why am I doing what I'm doing? Why um, am I deciding to go the direction that I'm going into? And from that place, it, begun, it begins to be circular, but not circular as in like a, a 360 circle, more like a vortex of moving uh, upward and, and, and forward, right? So I wanted to share this with you because you and I, we get to decide whether we want to react to things or react from places or be dynamic and respond. And that's really the purpose of planning. Um, and, and studies have shown, which I find very, very interesting, that um, if you want to plan something for change, you want to start doing that in uh, of, all the, of all the seasons, um, autumn fall season is the time to do that and spring where we are typically conditioned to do this at the end of a year toward the beginning of a new year um the expectation so that's very reactive right because the, the world sort of tells us this is what you need to do what are your plans for 2022 um it's fine 2022 um and so uh that's a reactive um approach to planning but if you want to be if you want to be proactive and you want to be dynamic, then you're really looking at making changes when they're needed. That's the most important time to make changes, regardless of whether it's the beginning of the week, beginning of the year, Q, Q quarter or whatever it is, right? You, you do it when it's necessary. 
But if you plan for it, then you are more uh, likely to succeed if you're planning for it in the in the autumn season and the spring. Uh, autumn being the first, the first, uh, the first, um, the most likely time of year for change to stick. Um, and that comes from Harvard, Harvard Business Journal. If you want to, I, I can pick that up, but that was a study that they did. So reactive versus dynamic. And so then this part, you know, when you're looking at, when you're reacting, you are more likely to feel drained uh, and, and then, and, and your brand, your business uh, impact you and then you make a choice out of that where when you're dynamic and you're really looking at what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it you're you're more likely to feel empowered even through the changes you know people who even uh, through through uh, shelter in place through COVID through all of that um, somehow um, even though they, we've all had our, our moments, our and moments being, you know, weeks and months of, of not knowing exactly how we're going to get through this, but you know people who were able to move through what it was that they were going through and feel empowered. And when you do, then you begin to impact your brand or your business and the choice comes out of that. And, and that has a direct impact on what people then say about you. So I hope that connects because with that in mind, I want to, I'll stop sharing and I want to have with you this conversation of what is it that you're looking for in your business, in your endeavors, whether you're trying to grow into a new, uh, maybe a, a new industry, that's what I'm doing, uh, or you're trying to uh, explore a new target audience, or you're saying, you know, I'm, I'm really looking at continuing to pick up where I sort of left off, you know, that could be an approach. There is no wrong or right way of going about this. There is only a way of looking at why are you doing what you're doing and are you reacting from the circumstances or are you being dynamic? And the three P's that, P's as in like the letter P that we're using to influence and inform why we're doing what we're doing is power, purpose, and perseverance. So, um, so with that in mind, I want to just invite you to open up your uh, your mic, have a conversation with us about about where you're at, uh, and with each other, where you're at with with that uh, growth mindset for Q4 and 2022. Keeping again, keeping in mind that I know this is maybe something that you're just starting to think about.